everyone smokings promoters here and we're playing Road to Dakar. This is an endless runner where you drive a pink SUV while listening to home tunes. There's no power goal, uh, proper goal, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is a prototype I made to learn uh, more about Unity 3D. Comment feedback would be more than appreciated as it will give me an idea to whether or not it will be worth revisiting when I hone my skills some more. So this is pretty much uh, basic in the game. This indie developer decided to try out their luck and I want to showcase it. Um, <coughs> we support indie games here no matter what so let's have a look. So unlike any of my other videos this video is a first impression of three games put together. The reason why I'm doing it like this is because there's a lot of games that I want to cover and I have two sort of playlists that I want to do on the channel going forward. One is my first impression playlist where I pick up an indie game or two or three in this scenario and I showcase them to you. The other one is where I do my long term sort of playlists and where you guys come back more and more and I really appreciate your support and those are for games such as um, Knight's Province and Fertile Crescent but not only uh, some others probably will join there now of course if you do decide that you want to see some of these games that I'm showcasing on a first impression uh, into a longer playlist such as um, Old World which I'm going to showcase at the end of this probably or any of the other games please do let me know in the comments below and I'll have a look to see if there's possibility for that but at the moment um, let's start right in so the keys are WSD to move, X to break, shift to boost, R to flip the car, space to switch to side view okay It's pretty good. So X breaks it. That's fine. Shift is boosting it. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm really enjoying this go. Kind of it's a bit of a nice environment. I would like to see the car flip. Oh, here we go. Can do this. Oh, I like the music too. Come on, let's push it to the maximum. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's see. Come on, we can do this. So it automatically cuts off my speed when I turn left or right, which is not exactly what I want to do. I want to speed it up as much as I can. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, here we go. Ah, nice. Okay, so obviously. <laughs> All right, so let's try and go back to the main menu. Let's try this again. I really truly enjoyed the music. It is very peaceful and relaxing. So it's probably going to be one of the games that I, I'm going to pick up and just enjoy a little bit of free driving. I don't drive, so this will just relax me and it's probably the opposite of driving. Uh, any drivers you should let me know. But it runs really smoothly, and I gotta say. Obviously graphics are basic, though there is really nice touches to the SUV and really good attention to details. I don't know if it's an asset that has been used or if it's an actual asset that's being created or and if like, I would love to hear from the devs in the comments as well. 
Whoa. Oh. Oh. So air resets the car, but if you press it at random, you also end up. Oh, here we go. We're flying. <laughs> so obviously there's a lot of need for a little bit of polish there but there are some glitches but thanks so much for watching this part if you only came for this and um, it's been a pleasure i hope to see you on the channel and the next videos if you're staying longer then please do i have two more games that i want to showcase for you hey everyone a uh, small games promoter and this is neon blight again this is the second game i'm going to showcase uh, in this video for yourselves just a couple of words uh, from the developers uh, website on ishtayo neon blight is a 2d cyberpunk roguelike gun store management game collect and sell guns customize and manage your own gun store Fight your way through dangerous levels and get closer to an ultimate weapon. Inspired by the likes of Enter the, Dun uh, the Gungeon <laughs> and Moonlighter, uh, but with a cyberpunk twist. Uh, a couple of things have changed here. Uh, audio, dropped it down a little bit, it was a little bit. Uh, full screen, turned on. Bloom, don't know what that is. Blood, realistic, because this is not a uh, channel for children so let's have a look we are here here where load your gun and let's go all right listen up Laura we received until the some of the de demon gangs have been hiding up in this bunker we're the only backup we've got available right now so watch your six remember these fuckers have caused havoc around America they deserve nothing but death Okay, listen, uh, America, probably spelled with a big A. This might be a small victory for us, but we'll send a message. Got any questions? Who are they? Who are the Demon Gang? A bunch of thugs with masks. Alrighty then, take, <laughs> take the lead and let's go. Alright, well. WSD to move, I got that part. E to ac access the vault. Okay, so to dodge, doesn't uh, look like, oh, oh, I see, right, here we go. So we're dodging like this. Oh, nice, I like this mechanic already. Anything these boxes? No. Uh, to slice attack and shoot. Am I getting gold coins? Okay, I can't get these. I already got them. Can I get some of these weapons? Nice uh, little beds here. I'm enjoying this. This is cool. This is fun. Uh, can I interact with these lockers? No. Okay. Infinite ammo. I like it. to interact pacifier not exactly a pacifier okay how do I um, okay Oh, this guy, I like him. Oh, he's got, he's got cojones. Nothing that he can't handle me. Oh, he hit me. Nice. Give me your wallet and your money. I'll take your wallet, your money and everything. Oh. I think that's the last of them. Well, wait a minute. 
I need to play some cards. You want to play some cards, Franco? Franco plays cards. We all know Franco loves the cards. Hell yeah, Lar. We did it. <laughs> exactly. We? We? You didn't do anything, sir. What? Your gun? Where's your gun, sir? I uh, forgot it in the car. That's right. I did everything by my own. I don't need you or anything. Eight years later. Hey kid, you there yet? Yes. How did your new spinner fly? Eh. Not bad. Not bad for a piece of junk. Hey, well listen, if it flies, no point of replacing it, right? But the 2147 model looks so good. Don't get too greedy, kid. You just started your new life. Well, I guess this is a farewell, huh? It's been a trip working with you, kiddo. Gonna miss you, Frank. Gonna miss you, Frankie. Frankie, gonna miss you. It's been a what a hell of a ride, Frankie. Gonna miss you too, Lara. Second seat is always available for you. Take care. New quest. Welcome to your new home. Locate and establish your new gun shop. Alright. Whoa, 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 what happened here? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to go there. My quest was to locate the shop, so I don't know what the heck is going on. I pressed the wrong button, obviously. Alright, let's go. Right, let's get out of here. Alright, this is my new shop. Need a boost? No. Is this my shop? Oh, here we go. Well, that's my shop. Oh, enter the shop name. Gano. Uh, Lara. Merchandise. Here we go. Today's successful order zero. Today's money made zero. Class. Gun class of the day snipers. Open. Hi Laura. My name is Tanisha. I'm the store owner at Neon, Neon Stop. Just wanted to send you a little message letting you know where who I where I am. Those guns displayed in your store, they come from me. They were sitting. They, they they were sitting around uh, collecting dust. So I thought you might need them. Anyway, good luck with your new store and come pay me a visit when you can. Sounds good. Welcome to your new home. Hey Lara, sorry for putting in the situation. I programmed the chip that is connected directly to my vital. So if my heart stops and my brain is dead. This message sent automatically. I'm giving you my shot because you are the only person I trust to keep it running. You know, I will also trust you with uh, my dying wish. I've been hearing of this ultimate weapon hiding outside the city since I'm dead. Obviously never got it. Do me one last favor. Try to find it. Whatever it takes with love, Ray. Sounds good. We don't have any weapons. Oh, does that mean it'll closed or open? Yeah, we don't have any weapons, so I don't know what you're trying to buy. Alright, well, listen. It's okay. So look. Oh, this is my storage room. I don't think there's any point in me even having this. Because I got no weapons, so what's the point? What am I going to sell, huh? Eh? My own gun? Now let's try and find this guy's gun. Apparently his dream was to find the abandoned forest. Alright, let's do this. Hello, traveler. 
Long have I been waiting for someone like you to come pay me a visit. Who are you? Who the hell are you? I'm a task tracker, tracker and helper of the Warfy. I know you, you're looking for the ultimate weapon, I will help you. Who are you? How are you gonna help me? You shall complete tasks for me, compensate with rewards that will help you reach the ultimate weapon. Why should I trust you? I just may you. You will need me, without me you will never see the ultimate weapon. Now go and seek the weapon, come back to me later. Okay, so that's kind of the game so far. I want to stop it right here. I don't want to showcase the full demo. I never do in the first impressions anyhow. I do hope sincerely you enjoyed the video. If you do, let me know in the comments below. If you tried it for yourself, the graphics look great. I love the little, um, the easiness of the actual game, how easy it is to move around and control the character. Really good attention to details. Uh, looks like there's two different weapons. I don't know. That's a gun and a yeah. So yeah, I'm having a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. So I hope you are too. And I will see you all in the last video I'm gonna showcase. Hey everyone, this is the old world. And um, like I said, this was the last video, uh, the last sort of game in the video I'm gonna showcase. I'm changing the graphics um, because I've had some difficulty on high. It does seem to slow down my frames per second. It's still an uh, in the game although it is uh, officially released on epic store all links to all the games i've showcased in the video in this video will be um will be available for you guys to check out in the description a couple of things i want to showcase about the game and um, first of all this as you can see is a playthrough that i've already done uh, i've chosen uh, cleopatra one thing i do love a lot is the actual history of the characters it does replicate a little bit of the civilization sort of um, genre, kind of the same style. Um, you have a, a city that you can see from the top. You can also recruit soldiers, units, settlers. You can set up fa festivals and um, you know upgrade your civics like your treasuries, your councillors, and things like that. You can build um, the pyramids or any sort of other, um, I think they're called worlds. Uh, oh, I can't remember now. Dang it. But anyhow, um, you also have the research, similar, like I said, to civilization, where you um, research a certain uh, upgrade to a certain tile, such as pottery or camps and things like that, and then you get a chance to upgrade. Uh, these um, plots of land. Now, there are a lot of different factors which obviously are innovative, such as controlling the the um, your own royal family, making decisions. They will really impact how your gameplay is. Um, these that those are really really cool things. Sort of kind of like Crusader Kings meets civilization sort of in between like if there's two games said the baby this one would be the ideal one but um yeah and i'm really having a lot of fun you can harvest resources as you can see there and um, such as gold and other um different things you have also um special events so every single civilization has got special events uh, where you can see for example this one is um a war ambassador uh, I'm not gonna read it, but you can read it for yourselves. And they, they give you different sort of options. Um, you can see at the top I have food, which is the apple uh, uh, sort of resource. Uh, you have monetary value, you have building uh, points, you have uh, resources such as forest. Uh, you also have um, gold and stone and things like that and research points as well as building points uh, it's really cool and defensing power probably uh, generated by soldiers that I haven't really confirmed that just yet um, so overall it's a really really cool game as you can see I'm playing with Egypt um, and I've discovered Babylonia and also Persia um, though I don't know if um, 
those I've interacted with, I can't quite remember. Um, you can see here my family tree. I was married, um, didn't really like the guy. <laughs> He's dead now. Uh, so she's Queen Hatishput. Uh, then my my daughter, she died. Um, but she was upset with me anyhow because she had a son. And I decided to make him my heir and skip her because of reasons. And... Uh, <laughs> And I decided to do that, and uh, she didn't like me very much, so I don't really know what happened, but I think she uh, she was, she was started getting drunk and stuff, and one day she just fell and hurt her head, and I didn't have anything to do with it, but, um, so here you go, as you can see, I'm no longer mourning the loss of my uh, daughter there in the game, uh, because of that, um, you can also choose the educations of your kids, as you can see, um, it's pretty pretty cool I gotta say I'm impressed and um, with the graphics I'm impressed with the functionality of it and the different buildings you can build and for an indie game it's pretty amazing and um, I hope you have enjoyed this video uh, it's a first impression of three multiple games uh, that I've been able to check out and showcase for you in this video if you want to see a longer playlist like I said um, leave a comment down below and I'll consider it depending on your suggestions and also the demand for it but um, I really want to say thanks so much for the support on the channel and supporting any games and um, yeah it's been a pleasure for uh, making this video and I hope to see you all in the next one bye bye <laughs>